Good morning guys, peace. Welcome back to another video. It's uh, it's Friday morning. If you caught our last video, where I did a, a tour of the village, um, you'll know that we're expecting a wood delivery today. Now, I explained very briefly in that uh, in that video that we were having some issues with their website. It, uh, every time you went to a checkout, it would delete an item. Every time we tried to send them an email, they weren't getting it. There was something really wrong with that website, but uh, fingers crossed they'll get it sorted soon. So we've been assured that it's going to arrive today, uh, just literally waiting for a phone call. So uh, I think the time's about 10 o'clock in the morning at the moment. I'm hoping it comes earlier rather than later because we're set to be hitting you know, sort of 36 today. I don't want to be moving wood in that, as I'm sure you can all understand. Now, what I have had a chance to do is mow all of this, so it should be a lot easier to move everything up the driveway. I've also cleared a, a small area in the barn, so I can lay all of the wood down and basically just cut it in half. Um, there's nothing that I need that's going to be longer than two metres, and all of the timber that we're having delivered is four metres, so it's going to be far more manageable to cut it all in half, um, I might even do that at the end of the driveway. It could be, could be a little easier. Moving things at four meters is, is just really awkward. So uh, yeah, maybe if I can get them all to two meters, move them down to the house, down to the barn, and that will be easier to put through the machines as well. A lot less cumbersome. Where's Daddy? Dada, it's gone to the river. <laughs> Walk where mummy walks, you're going to get stung there. That's it, good boy. There's daddy. Just look at all these swallows. I don't know if the camera's picking them up, but there's so many. Everywhere. Hope that's picked it up. I'm really worried I'm going to get pooed on by one of these birds. Good luck. <laughs> Look at the cow! <laughs> Look at the cows! Mm. Oh, did he shout at them? Did he shout at them? Sunday morning, actually afternoon now, isn't it? Oh, oh, let's get down. Uh, basically, just had a big clean up because we've got some new friends. Our little Bulgarian adventure, other YouTube channel. They, um, we've been chatting to them for many, you know, a couple of years now. Lee's met them in the past, but now we're finally going to meet them all together, aren't we? Yes, they're going to be here in a minute. So, I'm putting on a spot of lunch, and maybe we'll say hi to you all later. Wave, wave. Nick. Never mind. Wave, Adam. Wave, Lynn. <laughs> and then everyone, everyone, if I do like, a, oh, no, I've got to go round. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's a really nifty little gadget. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a problem. Ah, the joys. So, this is the door that I've been building. It's all, uh, Rabbits, tenons, mortises. It's taken a lot of time, a lot of work. And 
somebody. has mucked up by 100 millimetres, 10 centimetres. Now, I don't know how I messed up because that should be plenty enough for someone to make a door, right? No, stupid. Yeah, this is what happens when you try and remember things in your head because you're in a rush. But I put it together as a dry fit and uh, I thought, no, that just looks too wide. So what I've actually done is these middle sections here you can see I've drawn a line where they should be and this is where they are so uh, yeah it's all glued together uh, not the whole door but the panels are glued together so I've now got to cut 10 centimeters off off of both sides but I can't cut straight through because there's a tenon there so I'm going to have to keep the tenon, even though it's glued, and then cut the tenon down after. Hudson's asleep, so I can't do it now. Um, but I'm trying to think of the best way to do it. I'd love to put it through the table saw, um, but I'm not going to. It's, uh, it's a cut on very much one side of a heavy piece of wood, so if it twists or buckles, it's really unsafe. I don't want to be doing that. So it might have to be by hand. Maybe I can use the compound miter saw and set a depth gauge on that. So that'll just go through the thickness of the wood that I need to remove and then remove the rest with a chisel. Um, I could build them again. It's an awful lot of work though. <laughs> I don't want to be doing that. Uh, as you can see, it came like this. So uh, actually, let me talk a little bit about the wood that got delivered. So this is an example of uh, one of these boards. This is just a random piece that I didn't use because it had this knot here. Now hopefully the camera picks this up. It's supposed to be planed on four sides. And as you can see, we've got loads of tear out on the wood. Lots of knots, it's very young wood. Very wide grain on it. Now, the bit that's annoyed me the most is these edges. Hopefully the camera will focus. You can see this is real fuzzy. Now that's fuzzy because it's been run through a table saw real fast. And this side, as you can see, is even worse. It's almost wavy. This is because it's been run through a planer too fast. So, and even as you can see there, they are not level or parallel with each other. So all of the wood that I ordered and spent a little bit of extra money, we spent sort of 500 level on this in order to make two doors. That was with delivery and, and a few other bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, not cheap. Um, and I've ended up having to put every single piece through my machine again. And I've got a little workshop machine, you know, the cheapest of the cheap. They've got thousands of euros worth of machinery and spending a little extra time on my small machine has actually made it 10 times better. So I will not be ordering this stuff again in the future. I'll just order the cheapest of the cheap lumber and put it through the machines myself. Um, yeah, I was trying to save time. Obviously, time is money. So we had to spend a bit more money for this. And it's just been absolute garbage. Um, we've ordered stuff from them before and it's been great. But, uh, but this stuff is, is, is not good. Um, yeah, we were supposed to order 25 pieces. When we contacted them, it was, I think they said 21 pieces in stock, which was actually a lot less than I needed, obviously. And when it arrived, it was only 19 pieces. Two of them were really twisted, so there's two that I can't use. So yeah, don't, don't waste your time on this. If you've got machines, just do it yourself. Much, much easier. So this is a glue up for one of the centre panels that will be going in here, which is obviously now also too big. So I probably didn't need this extra board on the end. There's actually nine boards glued together. I'll obviously be trimming the edges, making it flush, sanding, and we should have a finish somewhat like this. 
Um, this is just a real basic sand, but you can't even really see where the two boards are joined. So it's uh, it's about there. You will take. You can only tell because of the grain. But uh, yeah, real real happy with the join that I managed to get. But that was after running it through my machines, not how it came. So panel that I've made here. Once this is all done, it will go into this slot along here into a slot and that's obviously the same on all four sides and that will be held in place so we'll have a fully solid door which will be six centimeters uh, in thickness from this point to this point same in the middle same at the bottom or the top whichever way you do it that's 20 centimeters and from here to here is 10 centimeters so it will look let me back up a bit. It'll look like a real nice chunky door. Um, yeah, it'd be beautiful once I actually get it right. Obviously, I'm really glad that I didn't start gluing anything together because that would have made it infinitely harder because I wouldn't be able to move it through the workshop or anything. So yeah, a bit deflated at the moment. Go away, wasp. Uh, yeah, a little bit deflated, but it gives me time to think about it as Hudson's asleep. So um, yeah, fingers crossed I'll get that done didn't actually get any of the recording for this but I am going to be making at least one more door with the uh, the stock that we have left so I'll do a full in-depth uh, thing about the design and, and, um, and yeah I'll show you what I've done.